My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here. Back at you with another review for Arrow Season 3. This is the 19th episode titled Broken Arrow. Now, this episode kind of, you know, follows the stuff, uh, you know, from Roy taking the taking the blame, you know, pretty much saying uh, that he was the Arrow. So, you know, you see throughout this all episode, all versus, like, all against it. Yeah. But, you know, throughout the episode, it's like, um, it's like he needs to learn to let other people help him. And now, more than ever, because not only that, there is a metahuman in Starlink C. Technically, Oliver's first metahuman on Arrow. So, yeah. Um, uh, which, in the comics, his name is uh, Jake Simmons, if I'm correct. And in the comics, he's known as Deathbolt, which he has the power, ability to control and create plasma from his ice. It's almost like he's got, you know, in, in some weird way, it almost seems like a different version of heat vision, I guess you could say. So, Oliver, since Oliver cannot be the arrow, he asks for Ray. But, uh, Ray, uh, sure gets his butt kicked at first. But Oliver kind of te uh, tells him that he doesn't need to rely just on the tech. You know, he needs to learn to adapt, to kind of, um, you know, rely on himself, which that kind of makes sense. And there is a word for that. That I mean, he's pretty much telling Ray to not be so overconfident in just his tech, because it's the person inside of the suit that really matters. I mean, in a way, he kind of taught the same lesson with with Barry in the crossover episode. So, yeah, but, uh, you yeah, know, I think uh, by the end of the episode, Ray kind of believes in that. And uh, we sort of almost saw someone, spoiler alert, die, but didn't die. Roy. Yeah, at first I was like, he died? He just became Arsenal this season. And then it's like, at the end, he leaves. He leaves. Yeah, but, um, yeah, but, uh, you know, there was another major thing that happened in this episode, but I'm not going to really talk about that until next week's episode, because it really wouldn't be such a spoiler alert. And I would probably have more thoughts to say about it in uh, next week's episode. But also within the flashbacks, they kind of find out that it's not, um, it's not Waller that's been going on. It's that uh, general guy, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, that uh, Oliver helped. Yeah. Wants to use the Alpha Omega. So, yeah. But that's pretty much on the uh, on the flashbacks. But by the end of the episode, when Ray <laughs> brings in Deathbolt, as he calls him, uh, come to find out, he wasn't in Central City the day of the accelerator explosion, showing that there are many humans out there that weren't affected. Which I guess, it, which it totally makes sense because. You know, I mean, I don't think it should be all just the, you know, because of the events of the Flash, why all these metahumans are out there. So, that is kind of nice to see in this episode, I have to say. But, you know, this episode is like, like, the hell? Yeah, I mean, that, that's what I was thinking about the major parts that happened in this episode. But overall, you know, it kind of it kind of sets up because we only have like four more episodes. So next week's episode sure to be a very interesting episode, and now we kind of have some more thoughts on the episode when it actually does come. 
because I already have some thoughts planned out. Just got to make sure that the episode uh, comes out the same way. But, you know, overall, I thought it was a very cool episode. Oliver, go, uh, the arrow having its first metahuman. Yeah. And this is not going to be the last we see of Deathbolt because he will be returning in a future episode of The Flash. Not going to say which episode, so it could sort of semi be a surprise to you. But uh, that's pretty much it on my review. Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts and opinions on the episode. And also, tomorrow, hopefully on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I will be doing reviews for... Episodes 4, 5, 6, and 7 of Daredevil. Hopefully for Friday. Yeah, you know, and, uh, you know, like I've said before, it's next month's going to be my five year anniversary for making videos on YouTube. Just want to have some ideas because I want to do just a, just a special video. I'm not saying a live show, I'm like maybe something that I don't usually do. But, uh, as always, my name is Jimmy, and until next time, bye.